I started teaching here at HBS when I was 27. It was my first real job. So pretty much everything I've done ever since has been shaped by the case method. When I think of case method, what I really think about is how do I ask the right kinds of questions so that I can get a smart group of people to come to the right answer. You're simultaneously interviewing 95 people and conducting an orchestra. And you're making it look like you're just sort of interacting intimately with individuals one-on-one, -on -one, but it's a production. You cannot leave this place as an HBS student and not have become a more persuasive person in expressing your argument. And you can't leave this place as an HBS student without actually knowing how to interact with other people, to hear different viewpoints, and to integrate them into your own. And so the case method teaches all the skills you need as a leader. It just doesn't put them under the heading of leadership skills. The second case I wrote was on Gerber Baby Foods' decision to invest in Poland after the fall of communism. So it's an investment story, it's an emerging market story, and it's really a story about a company making a very big decision under massive amounts of uncertainty. It was about the numbers and the exhibits and the accounting and the Excel spreadsheet and the conversions and all of the things that in fact Gerber's management went through in trying to figure out what kind of return they could possibly make selling you know, smushed bananas in Krakow. But what they learned and what I learned was that at the end of the day, they were actually focusing on the wrong things because they were presuming that it was all about getting the numbers to work. What they neglected to think about what turned out to be ultimately the much more important question of whether Polish parents and particularly Polish mothers would want to serve canned baby food to their babies. And it turned out they didn't. The discussions in the classroom were really good because it was one of those cases where there wasn't an obvious answer. It enabled people to bring in lots of different sets of experiences. So some people knew how to do the spreadsheet. Some people had come from a factory environment. Some of the people who had the most to contribute to the classroom were people who had babies. And they were the ones who realized that, that there was this very important personal and emotional component to the case decision. You really have the ability to pick up that expertise. And I keep using these hand motions because I do think of it like conducting an orchestra, although I've never done that, but I've watched it a lot. You play the room and everybody has a part and the parts harmonize and sometimes the parts are discordant, but when it works, there is a symphonic quality to it. 